All right. Good afternoon, Fallbrook. Um, Kim Steele here, KSA Kim, and we are here today with Miss Fallbrook, Samantha Burke. How are you, Samantha? I'm good. How are you today? I am wonderful. Um, you look beautiful. If everyone can see, she's got her full regalia going on, and she looks absolutely amazing. Thank and you. Um, so today we want to kind of give the community um, a little bit of insight on how what Ms. Fallberg really is, um, right. what it does for you, the the participants, as well as what it does for the community. Um, we all go to events, we go to the Christmas parade and we go to the different chamber events and all of the really cool stuff that happens around right. the community in Fallberg. And we see you guys out there. And But I don't know that unless they've been actively involved yeah, in the past, dude. most people yeah. really don't understand exactly what, what right. it's all about. So, um, <laughs> right, right. So um, give us just a quick overview of what's what's the purpose and kind of the mission of, of, of Ms. Fallberg. So Ms. Fallberg is going to be, it's a very volunteer oriented position. Everything we do is volunteer. We do earn a scholarship, but Great. Um, we do a lot of different service projects with the community. Anything we go to is community volunteer. So a lot of times at the events, we'll be helping serve food. We'll be running booths as well as sometimes participating like at Arts in the Park. We helped serve the food, but then we also walked around and did the crafts. Um, so for kind of what we get out of it and like the mission, it's just really bettering ourselves by we have to really get out of our shell and be such uh, more people people persons people people I guess people people uh, people and we uh, we do a lot of work with the chamber and the rotary so you're taking teenagers and forcing them to talk to these business owners and adults and kind of just getting used to that I guess and really just working towards helping us with uh, being able to do job interviews and uh, start our lives after we're done I think that's huge um I was actually thinking about that today while I was prepping for this. Mm -hmm. And again, sorry, we had a couple of little technical glitches getting started here, but it looks like we're good now. And, uh, you know, any business, um, it doesn't matter what you do, whether it's, mm -hmm. you know, volunteer type work or whether you're going to move into any type of public service, local politics or even politics at a larger level, if you are going to want to become a business owner. Um, almost anything that you do in the world these days with all the social media and all the things that are out there, you really have to be reaching out and touching the community. Right. And let me tell you, because we do a lot of that for the different businesses that we have, and it's hard. It it's hard. It's and it's freaking. intimidating to a lot of people. Okay. And so I think this is huge, prepping, prepping you guys for this. I think it is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, so tell me a little bit about the, um, like, what's the timeline or sort of the season or the schedule throughout the year? When is the pageant? And then, you know, what's kind of the season leading up to that? I know you guys go out in the community, all the candidates and kind of um, raise awareness for their, their, their campaign, I guess, is the best way to put it. You guys yeah. probably have a better word uh, for it. Platform. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. what's what's kind of the timeline cycle throughout the year for, for Miss Fallbrook? So Miss Fallbrook uh, starts in January with the pre-pageant, and it's going to be with orientations, just uh, raising awareness, getting the contestants. Um, and then it starts, I think this year, I want to say it's January 20th. It's a Sunday. And then there's rehearsals every Sunday until the pageant pretty much during the rehearsals we just are mostly um, practicing giving our platform speeches so it's like the base that we're running on what we're running to raise awareness for uh, mine was be the match which is a, a bone marrow transplant registry um, awesome. it's going to be practicing what we're doing on stage it's going to be our dance and then uh, we have a lot of different events that the contestants do to help them get ready so it's going to be we have uh, interview days we have a makeup day um, there was a couple of different service projects we went to. And then on top of that, we also went to other cities pageants just to kind of get a feel for kind of what it looks like to actually do it as well. Uh, and then the pageant is going to be this year. It's the last Saturday in March. So I don't remember the exact date. Um, and okay. then from there, the new Miss Fabric will take over and then they kind of their first if there is sometimes there's events in between, but often the first real event is going to be the avocado festival. And then they just go from there. And okay. do everything and anything in Fallbrook. Um, we'll do different things. Like we'll get invited to it. And then there's other things that we 
uh, just know that we're obviously going to do kind of like the Christmas parade and, and that kind of thing. Okay, and then great. It starts back over in January. Wow. So yeah. do, do you know, I mean, is that sort of by design that it sort of coincides with AvoFest being the first big event or is that just a lucky I, coincidence? No, it has been. I don't know how long it's been that way, but so in the past, like, so one of our co-directors was Miss Fabric 2009. And back then they used to have it where the pageant was the night before the, uh, was the night before the avocado festival. So they kind of just had the pageant all day and then rolled straight into the avocado festival. Wow. Um, now they've separated a little bit, but that's kind of like a, we refer to it as like our debut in Fallbrook as the new reigning court. Very cool. Very cool. So um, you kind of already talked about uh, the community involvement and the, the different events that you go to. How many events do you wind up pretty much doing in the course of a, a year? A uh, lot. I- I should probably check because I'd I'd like to be able to use the amount of service hours that I have to you know apply to scholarships and different kinds of things, um, but it's a lot. In a month, yeah. we could have uh, some months. It's been only a couple, two or three, and then others. It's been eight or nine, and they're wow. all different. They're all different levels of what we're doing. Um, sometimes it's just we're just there supporting. We're not really do. We don't have a specific role. It's just it's a community event, so we're going to show up because we are. Fallbrook, I guess. And then other ones we go because we're going to be helping out or volunteering in some way. Very nice. Very nice. So um, is this something, I mean, Fallbrook's a small town, you know, we're not Oceanside or (laughs) San Diego. Right. So I'm just, I'm curious. I know that uh, pageants in general is a big deal. Um, for a lot of people. And there's people that start in pageants when they're still in diapers. um, And they kind of follow that path throughout, you know, into young adulthood, and kind of make that their thing, their activity, no different than some people play football. Um, So in Fallbrook specifically, right, in Fallbrook specifically, is that something are, are all of you guys or are the majority of you guys kind of like, been doing this for a while or did you just decide you know what I want to do it just because it's Fallbrook and and you're a little bit more new to the pageant thing or is it a mix so as far as I know most of the people that I've come in contact with that have done Miss Fallbrook Miss Fallbrook was their first pageant and then a lot of them it was their only pageant but I wow. do know multiple where they loved it so much that they continued on to do other things there's a couple that have bigger titles they've moved on to um different like national american miss is a really big pageant circuit so a couple have moved on to do that one um but a lot of them are just one and done they uh, yeah. decide that was a lot of fun but now i'm gonna go i'm gonna use this to continue growing but on a different in a different way not sure. with continuing pageants sure how how powerful do you really do you think this is i mean this has got to be pretty powerful when it comes to like college apps which are just more and more competitive these days i mean i'm i'm old i'm i'm 42 <laughs> I went to college and I look back on like, I would probably never get into college today. Like, I, <laughs> but, uh, but I mean, this has got to be pretty big. This is to, as far as benefiting you and putting you at the head of the pack. Right. Well, so, cause we can really push that. Yes, it was a pageant and yes, you know, it is, they, you know, people see it as a beauty pageant, but we really push that it was a scholarship pageant and we do so much volunteer work. But that's what we can bring it down to be once I, you know, go through and count up all my hours. I can be like, look, I did such and such hours just for my community, just because I love it, because I think it's fun. And I got to wear a crown doing it and it made it even right. better. So, you know, right. but so it can be when every little tiny detail for college counts, this can look really good, especially for and then for different. Uh, I put it on my I got an internship re- recently and I put that on my resume to show like my internship is unpaid it's volunteer I already do volunteer work I'm okay with that I'm okay with not getting paid for my work like it's right so. right that's okay. that's huge yeah. so I mean pageants of course I'm sure you're not immune to some of the things that the stereotypes that are out there mm-hmm. um again Fallbrook's a small town and I I feel like anything that happens in Fallbrook is we just tend to keep things really wholesome and, Mm -hmm. you know, but um, do you ever find yourself having to sort of, you know, talk your way out of the stereotype that comes with, with doing this? Not that I know, not, nothing really comes to mind. A lot of people, oh, some people in my work, they make fun of like, oh, you're like queen. And I'm like, no, not really. Like, it's just, it's just, it's Fallbrook. 
Like it's right. not we're not up there in dresses with high slits and showing a lot of cleavage, you know, where it's more right. We dress very conservatively to uh, be the face of a more conservative town. And so like for me, I do have tattoos. So that's, you know, not super, super conservative. But I don't feel like I've ever had to be like, well, yeah, it's a pageant, but I'm not really a beauty queen, I guess. It's just kind of comes to show that people that know me know that I'm not that kind of person, I guess. Right. It hasn't been an issue for me. That's good. That's yeah. good. Because, I mean, you definitely hear things in other places and it's like, right. you know, I mean, to me, I think I look at it as it's just another activity to right. do, you know, no different than, again, some people play basketball or they cheerlead or football or whatever yeah. else it might be. So awesome. Awesome. So, so um, is there anything else you kind of want to just let everybody know about Miss Falbert? Uh, to just, even if you have... If you're even thinking like, oh, maybe this would be something fun to do, just go to an orientation because that was for me. I didn't think I wanted to do it. And then I went to the orientation and realized it's actually not that hard to run. And the pageant, which I was dreading and thought I was going to hate, was so much fun. And I was so sad that I that it was over in one night. And so for anybody thinking that like, oh, I don't know if I want to do it. It's such a big time commitment. Just think about the fact that like you're going to be spending that time some way or another you might as well do it in a tiara. Like, I mean, come on. It makes I love it. Fun. I love so, it. I'm going to start coming to work in a tiara. That's my new, that's do my it. new thing. People, I'm totally people, doing it. They'll treat you, <laughs> they, you, hold yourself, you hold yourself differently when you wear a tiara. I think I'm going to have to give it a try. Well, you kind of, that kind of led into my final, um, my final question is just if, if somebody, if a girl's out in the community and is wondering how to get involved for the upcoming year. What's their first step? What's step one? Is there somebody to contact? Is there, uh, is there a scheduled yes. thing? So our co-directors are Christiana Menares and Sherry Trombetta. We have a Facebook page. I want to say if you just search Miss Fallbrook Scholarship Pageant, it should pop up. And then any information about, uh, uh, yes, a, um, sorry, any in- information about um, orientations and the start of the pageant will be on there and then anytime anything that we do with Miss Fallbrook and all that it's all on there as well so then that way they can contact that and get more information on Miss okay Fallbrook. okay that's awesome and you know as I share this out um, I'll go ahead and and put some of the contact info up there as well in the post so people can click that and see perfect. see where to go oh, to uh, get more info do. Awesome. All right. Well, I thank you so much, Samantha, for being with us today. And uh, we hope to see you out there in the community. Uh, you will. All right. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right.